Welcome to the first in a series of design-related videos on the Morgan Super 3. Head of Design, Jonathan Wells, introduces the design intent for Super 3. A mechanical connection to your machine and an exposure to your surroundings. The sights, the sounds, the smells and vibrations. With every drive, your senses are heightened as you are forced to remain present and focused. This is motoring, this is Super 3. Morgan Motor Company's Super 3 continues the 113-year legacy of three-wheeled Morgan vehicles yet introduces a new product family with a design inspired by the jet age. In this video you can see Mark Bronstein starts up the engine of his 1934 Morgan Super Sports three-wheeler. The car has three wheels instead of four so it could avoid higher taxes in England. It has no seat belt because modern seat belts weren't invented till 1959. While we loved the quirky Morgan three-wheeler, we always knew that it wouldn't get to grow nearly as old as the English sports car maker's other long-lived models. By the time it retired in 2020, its air-cooled engine had been strangled like a Malaise era V8, its output cut to just 82 horsepower. Early ones had made 116 horsepower, while the rising cost of the US-made power plant had pushed the three-wheeler's price up to a hefty $59,000. This is why you're looking at a new and substantially different three-wheeler from Morgan. The new Super 3. The biggest change is obvious from the first glance. The loss of the motorcycle engine for a water-cooled power plant in the form of a 1.5-liter Ford three-cylinder engine. But the rest of the car has been substantially modernized, too, and we're promised that the version that will be reaching US buyers later this year will be cheaper, faster, and better to drive than its characterful predecessor. The new engine has dramatically altered the Super 3's front-end appearance. The Super 3 now features a mesh grille covering the bulkier motor where the old car's cylinder blocks were on proud display. Morgan's designers have chosen a much squarer design to surround the bulkier new power plant. It stands in contrast to the curved teardrop shape further back, with an exposed cast metal crossmember acting as both a mounting point for the front suspension and a design element. 